Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to another video. One of the most common questions in regards to World of Warcraft Arena is which compositions are the best. The compositions that we see in tournament play are not always a clear example of what performs well on the ladder. In today's video, we've hit up some of our Rank 1 consultants and asked them to rank popular 2v2 compositions based on performance and viability. It's also worth noting that this tier list is based on Gladiator and above ratings. So even though double Ret Paladin running in and instantly killing you may seem overpowered, the higher rating you get, the less viable it becomes. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to show your support. Currently 80% of you are not subscribed, which means that most of you are missing out on the awesome Rank 1 fueled info that we drop regularly that will be sure to boost your rating in no time. So be sure to show some love and hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in more content like this, along with gaining early access to all our YouTube videos, exclusive matchup guides, access to our forums, and the opportunity to get your gameplay reviewed, be sure to head over to skillcap.com wow and sign up today. Anyway, how we're going to be ranking these compositions is in four different tiers, S to C. These compositions in our S tier are going to be the best of the best, while the compositions dropping into the C tier will be including classes that you don't see that often in 2v2, so think Shadow Priest for example. And kicking it off from the bottom with our C tier, our first composition is going to be Shadow Priest Mistweaver. Shadow Priests really do struggle when it comes to 2v2, having very minimal impact damage and just not being able to stand toe to toe with certain melee makes them very weak in the 2v2 meta. Shadow can pair up with any healer, but we recommend Mistweavers and believe it's their strongest. Nesting into our C tier, we also have Boomkin and Resto Shaman. Suffering from the same problems as Shadow, Boomkin just gets overshadowed by most other casters in 2v2, inevitably just not having enough consistent pressure to score kills. Boomkins can also pair up with any healer, but Holy Paladins, Mistweavers, and Resto Shamans are the best. And the same fate falls for Enhancement Shaman. While shocking, the former kings of burst damage have seen better times. Being very squishy and lacking a mortal strike means they struggle to make their pressure stick before they die. While working again with pretty much any healer, Mistweavers have the throughput to keep a not-so-durable Enhancement Shaman alive. Also stepping into our C tier, we've got Sub Rogue, Disc Priest. Usually Disc Priest has done extremely well in previous seasons, but the addition of Corruption, mainly versatile, means Sub Rogues just lack the pressure they need to secure a kill 2v2. The last composition making it into our C tier is going to be Demonology Warlock Holy Paladin. While the majority of Warlocks we see in 2v2 are destruction, Demo Holy Paladin still does see some play. The higher damage of your pets and ability to burst with Tyrant means Demonology can really pack a punch in the right circumstances. While it's possible to do well as with all these compositions in our C tier, the higher rating you get, the weaker they become. Moving on to our B tier, these compositions again do very well, don't get me wrong, and if played well can achieve high ratings, but for ease of play or just strength, don't make it higher onto our list. First up, we've got Mage Healer. There are a few variations of this, but all got placed into our B tier for numerous reasons. Fire Mage or Arcane Mage Holy Priest and Frost Mage Restoration Druid are among the most common variations, all having their own strengths and weaknesses. But currently in this meta, if you're playing a caster and it's not a Destro Warlock, then most melee compositions are just able to pressure you once dampening kicks in. Making it into our B tier, we've also got some double DPS compositions. Both Mage Sub Rogue and Sub Rogue Survival Hunter are the best variations, able to take games off almost any other composition with strong crowd control and high burst damage. Next up, Ellie Shaman, Holy Priest, or Paladin are also going to earn their spot in our B tier doing decidedly well into compositions where the elemental can kite or prevent damage. But a lot of our top tier comps tear right through them, such as demon hunters with their endless mobility. It's also very difficult to get pressure when healers focus on dispelling flame shock, so they do have some clear weaknesses. Rep paladins have some insane bursts, and discipline priests help to add to that with dark archangel and some added damage. This composition really does struggle though when it's unable to maintain uptime and connect to their targets. Our final composition finding itself in our B tier is one that has usually done very well, and that's Arms Warrior Mistweaver. The problem with this composition right now is that it's just heavily outshined by classes like DH, Windwalkers, or Rogues, but for sure is still a very strong comp. So that closes it out for our B tier as you can see here. Our penultimate tier is our A tier. These compositions are all extremely good and have unlimited potential, just however falling short from our S tier. Windwalker Holy Paladin is our first addition to the A tier. 
Holy Paladin works great with Windwalker, adding additional damage and having an abundance of defensive cooldowns to rotate through. However, this comp does run into some issues against Warlocks, Demon Hunters, and Resto Druids, three specs that are all very strong right now. Survival Holy Paladin is also harpooning into our B tier, having some very good crowd control with Hodge into Trap and good burst damage. This comp does great into Resto Druids and destroys Rogues. However, this comp does struggle against Demon Hunters and Destro comps, while really struggling against Holy Priest as well, since it has no easy way to deal with Holy Ward. Barrel Disc Priest, on the other hand, also makes it into our A tier, having great sustained and burst damage, and the ability to even do very good CC. So, if you're a Feral and looking to jump into 2v2, playing with a Disc Priest is a top tier comp. And before we get into our S tier, our last composition is going to be Mistweaver on Holy DK. The only Death Knight composition on this list does extremely well into Discipline Priests and even Resto Druids, bringing great disruption paired with good sustain and survivability. And that wraps up our A tier. Before we get to the moment that you've all been waiting for, let's quickly take a look at how the tier list looks so far. There are two specs which are missing, and I don't think it's a secret to anybody what they are. Okay, so this is our final and strongest tier, our S tier. If you've played 2v2 recently, you can probably guess some of the comps, as they are among the most popular and strongest comps in the game. First up, we've got everybody's favorite, Destruction Warlock Restro Druid and Destruction Warlock Holy Priest, and this probably comes as no surprise to anybody. Not only are these comps both incredibly easy to play, but they leave very little counterplay for your enemies. Leaving a Destruction Warlock free for even a small amount of time can quickly result in your death. But, leaving a Holy Priest free means that you can't ever pressure through his healing, while leaving a Druid free will just result in constant restyle stunts. So, this leaves you in a very difficult situation and makes Destro Warlock Holy Priest or Resto Druid without a doubt a worthy contender for our S tier spot. The next composition making it into our S tier is going to be Assassination Discipline Priest. This comp has super high damage coming out from both the Priest and Rogue, high lockdown, and even the ability to CC. Assassination is hands down one of the best melee in 2v2 and allows for a Disc Priest to play to their strengths and assist with damage during kidney shots. Just an all around strong composition. Rounding out our best World of Warcraft 2v2 arena compositions, we have our final comp, which is going to be DH Resto Shaman or Resto Druid. Insanely high consistent damage, super hard to kill, and the ability to mana burn makes DHs the king melee in 2v2. I'd probably say the Resto Shaman is a little stronger due to how self-sufficient Resto Shaman is, but the Druid version is almost just as good. Alright, then that's going to be the best World of Warcraft Gladiator 2v2 PvP comps tier list. Wrapping up the video, let's take a quick look at the list. Also, stay on the lookout for our melee, caster, and healer tier lists, and also our 3v3 tier lists coming out in the next few weeks. Alright, we here at Skillcap put a ton of work into keeping you updated on how to play and play around every class in World of Warcraft Arena. The best way for you to show your support and love for the channel, as well as remaining up to date on any shifts in the meta as they happen, is to like, subscribe, and share this video. Remember, the content that you find here on YouTube is just a taste of the hyper-improvement platform that you'll find on our website. If you're serious about pushing Arena rating and want to improve, be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.